In this video, we're going to answer the question, how to build confidence in selling. Check this out. Hi guys, Jan here and welcome back to The Present. And today, we have a question coming from Steve Robles. So the question is quite long, but the context of it is, how do you build confidence in selling? Okay. So just to give you a little bit of a background, I started doing selling or into business at the age of 10 with my brother. He had a business before, it's about cell phone accessories and well, we were selling like cell phone accessories. Like for example, Nokia 3310, 5110, 6210, all these 10 kind of a thing. And we were selling like casings, chargers, um, what do you call this, like pouches and all those things, okay? Batteries and all. So that's, every time, she, Every time he was in Manila to buy wholesale stocks from there and so that he can ship it here in, the, in Davao. At the age of 10, I was roaming around the customer, so which is located in Victoria Plaza in Gisana Mall, and just asking for follow-ups or just collections and things like that at the age of 10. So that was a very good thing. It's a good experience. And, the, well, it was a thing, you know. And also at the age of 16 years old, it was doing a business I was doing network marketing part-time because I was studying from 16 to 19 years old so I was there for three years and that uh, that was also a different kind of selling point we were selling like vitamins and um, soaps beauty products health products and things like that at the same time after that during my first employment the first my first employment we were selling like services like training services or social media services or online marketing services or website services and all these services right so we were selling that and now um, in my current job I'm selling uh, raw mats raw materials of feeds okay like soybean meal Australian wheat and all these other micro products and whatnot so it's like for how many years that I have been existing on this earth I'm currently 25 years old I have been selling <laughs> selling okay right? and marketing now, do I consider myself as a good seller? I would actually say I'm, I'm not sure, right? I mean, we do get sales, we have conversions, we, know, we do marketing, but it really depends, okay? But in terms of principle, in terms of the foundation, every time you sell, the most important for, point first is number one, you have to believe in yourself. It's very cliche, but it's actually true. Like even if you have the best product in the world, even if you have the best service in the world, even if you're working with the best company in the world, but if you don't have confidence in yourself first, you're not going to sell anything in your life. That's it, it's period, okay? Because you have to believe in yourself first. Nobody's going to believe you if you don't even believe in yourself. So you, you have to have that, okay? It, cockiness is not the same with confidence, okay? Be, be, if you are bragging it's not the same with confidence because confidence comes from results and the process that you went through you get this like you have the process and you have the results that's confidence bragging when you talk about bragging it's more about the results and they don't really consider the process okay so you have to you have to be confident in yourself first number two you have to be confident in your products you have to believe in your products even if you believe in yourself, but if you don't believe that the products that you're selling is going to add value to the customer, nothing is gonna happen. So it may be a real estate, it may be a vitamin, it may be a health product, it may be a TV set, it may be lights, it may be food, whatever that may be, but point is, if you do not believe in the products that you're selling, nothing is gonna happen as well. Because the customer will feel that. They, they can feel it, if you're not authentic and they can also feel it if you don't believe in the product so it has to be both you have to believe in yourself first and you have to believe in your product number three when you are selling always have in mind that you are actually helping people right that is why you have to believe in your product because if the product can help solve a problem if your service can help solve a problem of the customer then that's a really good news for you. So you have to really think that it's really more about helping. But 
in exchange, they pay you, they pay your service, your product, so that you can solve the problem. Do you get this? So you have to understand if the product that you're selling can help people out. If it's not going to help people out, the chances of you making a sale is slim to none. Do you get this? And last one is that always, always, always listen to your customers. The problem with most salespeople is that they are the ones who's talking a lot to the customer instead of listening to the customer. The reason why you are able to sell is because you know what the customer wants, you also know what the customer needs, and if your product or your operations can deliver to that, can deliver, uh, can solve the problem, then you're going to have a good point. So you have to listen to your customer at the end of the day, okay? So those are the four things that I would really want to share. Number one is you have to believe in yourself. As cliche as it may sound, but that's really true. Number two is you have to believe in the products that you're selling, okay? Number three, start thinking about helping in terms of selling. And number four, always engage with your customer, all right? When I say engage, listen more. And by the way, here's the point. When you listen, listen with the intent to understand, not not with intent to reply so when you listen you just really want to understand where is she coming from where is he coming from what kind of problem do you want me to solve do not find ways when you when you listen to someone and you're going to reply da, 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 da. Do you get this so you have to understand first what they really need and what they really want so those are the four things okay so Steve I hope we answered your question uh, so Guys, if you want to help this out, let us know in the comment section of how or what are the ways for you to build confidence. And if this video added any value to you, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. So this has been Jan. Thank you so much and see you on the next video.